and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dana and today I am uh, prepping for you another video about kombucha and um, we're gonna talk about the second fermentation. How we're gonna achieve carbonation and um, uh, flavor in uh, our kombucha bottles. I have here my two jars of kombucha. Uh, this one is June made with green tea and honey and this one is with black tea and sugar and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna proceed in, uh, in uh, with this jar. I uh, I'm in my eighth day of uh, first fermentation uh, with both of them. Uh, the color of the tea changed, uh, the smell changed, the flavor changed. And I will give it a taste. Mm, it's just perfect not too sweet, not too sour, not too tart, it's just perfect and you can also taste the, the flavor of the tea. What I'm gonna do with clean hands, I'm gonna remove my scoby and it's getting thicker and thicker with each batch I am uh, brewing. I'm gonna have it here in one uh, vessel. I'm gonna give it a mix and reserve from this liquid two cups for my next batch like this. To be easier to fill up my bottles, I'm gonna pour the liquid into this cup. I have my clean bottles and I'm gonna pour the liquid in without filling them. I'm using glass bottles because kombucha is a living uh, uh, liquid full of yeast and uh, bacteria and uh, I want a healthy liquid here I don't want plastic in my uh, in my kombucha you can uh, drink kombucha exactly like it is right now without fruits for carbonation it's uh, it's tasty and it's okay to be uh, consumed just like this but the fun part is to add fruits and flavors and juices so we can have um, bubbly uh, tea that we can make it on a lot healthier, full in probiotics. You can strain the liquid from the jar because as you can see I have a lot of sediments over here. I filled up my uh, my bottles here. I'm gonna clean this jar, wash it uh, good, so I can have it for the next batch. And now the fun part is to add fruits, uh, juices, syrups, herbs, and uh, spices to our bottles to achieve flavor and carbonation. You can use fresh or frozen fruits. You can uh, make uh, purees, you can make smoothie, or uh, you can make um, 
uh, syrups with them you can use flowers edible flowers um, herbs spices I have mint here I have ginger so you can use mint ginger um, cinnamon cloves nutmeg anise what else mm, orange blossoms hibiscus flowers honeysuckle lavender saffron I um, I will show you what I'm doing I'm not gonna tell you specific quantities of uh, fruits that I'm gonna use because depends on your taste but also depends on how much sugar there is in the fruits how sweet they are I use both frozen or fresh and kombucha always tastes amazing and we have um, awesome uh, color as well because the color of the fruits will transfer to, to our liquid uh, one uh, type of kombucha I didn't like I bought a smoothie and I used it I didn't read the label and I didn't knew because I am not a professional into this I am just having fun so that smoothie had uh, coconut milk and my kombucha was really uh, bubbly but uh, tasted really bad so yeah if there is one thing that I don't advise you to use is uh, <laughs> coconut milk otherwise you can use raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, apples, citrus um, like uh, grapefruit mandarins, uh, lime, lemons, watermelon, mango, papaya, whatever fruits you like. Okay, as you can see I'm adding here raspberries that I cut so that I can help a bit the, the yeast and bacteria from my kombucha to have access to the sugar of the fruits so they can start fermenting and um, to produce carbonation okay if your fruits are um, not that sweet you can add in each bottle uh, either a bit of honey or a few granules of sugar what I want to do here is add a bit of mint and I used uh, in my kombucha uh, mint either like this just leaves that I put in the bottle or I use my food processor to, to grind it up and uh, strain it and use only the, the liquid that came off that and I'm gonna use some apple juice freshly squeezed without um, any um, um, added uh, chemicals and also is not processed you can use juices or syrups that you will buy from the store or that you can make yourself okay and I'm gonna close the water what's important with kombucha and second fermentation is to have glass bottles really sturdy try to use round shaped bottles uh, because as I said our liquid is alive and is going to continue to feed and we don't want plastic in our drink and we need really sturdy caps so we can close the bottle and trap in here all the carbonation that uh, uh, our uh, kombucha will produce next Let's use strawberries because I have my board here already dirty of pink color. So, yeah. Um, when you add strawberries and raspberries, fruits that are red like these, or blueberries and blackberries, you're gonna see that the color of the fruits will transfer into your drink and the fruits will get uh, whiter and whiter. 
I'm chopping the fruit in smaller pieces, but you can just um, uh, use the food processor to make a puree and add them um, like puree in your in your bottle. Just experience um, both ways and find the one that you you like. Either way, you're gonna have a healthy and natural drink, and you can replace soda this way. And it's a lot cheaper, and it's fun to make this at home. So give it a try. Okay, I'm gonna put strawberries in my second bottle I only use the fruits like this and cut them in chunks and put them in my bottles I, uh, I didn't make puree so far but you can and I saw people that are making puree You can uh, put just fruits and no other juice. You can put just juice. It's up to you. The sweeter the fruits are, more bubbles you're gonna have in your, and more fizziness you're gonna have in your final drink. If you want to use flowers, make a really concentrate syrup with sugar and um, a bit of water and uh, let the flowers um, steep in that syrup and strain it and fill the bottles with it. We added a bit of mint in there too and I'm going to add some apple juice just to fill my bottle. I don't have much apple juice here. I want to fill the bottles almost all the way to the top so I can trap inside all the carbonation possible and they look pretty I got my bottles from Ikea I used to use some square bottles but the pressure uh, built up inside my bottle and exploded at some point so be careful with that so use thick quality bottles made out of glass I'll put blueberries And I'm cutting them like this. It's gonna be easier to clean up the bottles, come out of the bottle e easier. And also, we help up the yeast and bacteria so they can have access to all the sugar in the fruits. I'm in my um, eighth day of uh, fermentation of kombucha, so just perfect. Use uh, start tasting your kombucha after the seventh day, and uh, don't let it more than ten days at room temperature. It will be too too sour. Too. You can make vinegar out of that or you can add a bit of water to dilute it a bit more Oops. ok 
keep it at room temperature away from uh, sunlight oh my god the foods are trying to escape The more um, you're gonna store this kombucha, um, less sugar will be in the bottle, so it's gonna uh, decrease the amount of uh, sweetness, but you're gonna have more carbonation. I uh, usually keep the bottles at room temperature for about four days and after that I can I put them in the fridge to slow down the fermentation and to have a nice chill drink and this way we're not gonna explode the bottles and you can keep them in the fridge up to six months hours never lasted that long I started making kombucha this year so it's not, I don't have yet six months of brewing kombucha but anyway I don't have any bottle from the first batch we drink them faster than we produce them <laughs> okay in this one I have only blueberries I will close the lid and let's do another uh, I have here grapefruit and I have to tell you that grapefruit is one of my flavors that I really enjoy I will remove the zest that I'm gonna squeeze out I love this being grapefruit in kombucha as you can see it's really juicy so far the only one that I didn't like was the one with um, the smoothie that had coconut milk other than that I really loved all of them especially strawberries and raspberries and berries if you make a mixture of berries I used both um, frozen fruits and fresh fruits I haven't tried yet to make with um, cantaloupe because they're not yet in season here but as soon as they will be I will definitely use okay a lot of fruit in there and I'm gonna add the juice as well and add the juice and fill up the bottle write on the bottles what uh, fruits or juices you used and also the date that you brew these started to bottle it because we're gonna forget i assure you i do that all the time uh, okay i have nectarine and i'm gonna cut it as well And smaller pieces I, I will use watermelon in another bottle is my first time uh, uh, making kombucha with watermelon because they just come up in season now but I know they are full of sugars 
and I hope kombucha will taste good. I think watermelon and mint will go good together. So I'm making sure to add some mint leaves in here and I I will bruise them a bit so they can release flavors in the bottle. Like this. I made kombucha with banana and I really liked it. Perfect. I will close the bottle now. And I have just one more and I have some ginger here that I'm gonna cut in smaller pieces. Add them in the bottle and add some apple. And I will start uh, my next batch. I will put black tea in a in a cup. Pour hot water, about 500 milliliters or so two cups of water over it, and let it steep for about 10 minutes to have a really concentrated tea. Now I'm gonna take out the tea bags. Add sugar, one cup of sugar, because I have a four liter jar here. Mix it in for the sugar to dissolve. I'll pour some filtered water in my jar because. I don't want to put hot tea in my jar. I cracked one of, uh, of these, so I don't want that to happen again. And now safely I can pour my concentrated tea. I will add more water but I will let room in my jar for scoby and uh, two cups of the uh, liquid that I saved up. I'll pour, pour the liquid now. And my liquid is cold enough now to accommodate my tea it's cold enough to accommodate uh, the scoby and the uh, fermented tea that I already poured in there I'll place my scoby on top We need to make sure that the liquid is not hot um, so we can kill the yeast and bacteria. This is why I cool down the tea with uh, filter water. I will cover now the jar, label it, I will write a date when I started this and have it in a warm place for a dark place for about 7 to 10 days uh, to, to ferment. And this is I'm uh, doing my continuing brewing 
and uh, if you don't want to do this now you can save your scoby and the liquid uh, that you saved up from the last batch in a smaller jar and have like a scoby hotel until you're ready to, to um, uh, start brewing again uh, just make sure to feed uh, that liquid with new tea and uh, sugar uh, every each month to, to have a healthy scoby so these are my bottles, as you can see I put labels, not in this one, okay, I have one more to, to add. I will uh, keep them at room temperature for uh, 4 days and after that I will uh, put them in the fridge and uh, they will uh, be ready to, to drink. I hope you enjoy my uh, video today, if you have any questions, uh, post them down uh, below in the comment section and I will see you here next time with another recipe. Until then, find reasons to smile. Bye!